<clears throat> okay, so InDesign, <clears throat> really important program for page layout. You uh, create uh, design work in Photoshop, Illustrator. This is the last step to get it ready for print or other purposes, um, really where you bring together all of your work. So um, an important thing is your document size, specifically setting it up for the size that it's going to be printed at or... Um, how you're going to be viewing this. Page size can be changed here with different margin types. You can also adjust columns, number of pages. So it's the only program where you can work with multiple pages in a document at the same time. Um, really nice for that. And things like bleed, which you'll learn about more, um, can be set here in your new document page. Once the uh, document loads up, you see your margins. Uh, just a guide for you to visually see where to work from. Toolbar is very similar to Illustrator and Photoshop. You have a stroke and fill color just like in Illustrator. A lot of the same shape tools and options. Um, <clears throat> a very extensive character and paragraph control. Um, there's a lot of settings that you can do here that you can't do in the other programs. It's really the main program you want to use if you're working with large bodies of text. Um, still have layers and pages here. Pages, you can work with multiple pages at a time. So if you wanted to add or if you had a bunch of pages created, you can easily scroll in between those on your pages palette. Some of the key things to remember is working with text. You always create text boxes and your text is going to be adjustable based on um, any text that you have in there. You can move and arrange. This is just some placeholder text that you can fill if you don't have your text that you need yet. So you'll notice I can adjust and move this text box to any size and my, my text, my type, or my copy will fit to that space. Um, you also see that there's this little red symbol. That means that there's more text hiding behind there that you need to reveal. So if you get that red um, icon, just know that there's stuff hiding there. And you can also, what's kind of cool, is do what's called flowing text boxes. So you can create, hit this little button and make a new text box that flows this font or type into the second paragraph or text frame there. That's kind of nice. I can adjust this and you'll notice that one moves. Um, when you're placing images in, just the key thing to remember, you don't ever copy or paste. You always place images like this, file place, and then choose your picture that you want to put in. Reason being is that it actually will link the file to the original. Um, sometimes it gives you a, a bad display. You always want to make sure you go high quality display to get the full view of your picture. Um, if you ever want to check that stuff, you have links to all of your images here. So you can see which images have been placed in. You can edit those images carefully. Um, there always should be a link from the file that you're seeing in InDesign and the actual original. Um, that's how you get your full quality picture to look how it should look. So that's a little bit with InDesign. A lot of the uh, future lessons will help you get better with um, page layout. But very similar again to Illustrator Photoshop, just make sure this is your last step in the design process. You create in Photoshop, create in Illustrator, bring it all here to bring it all together.